Putin News Now. Wagner will not enter into an agreement with the Russian Minister of Defense. The most powerful mercenary in Russia has publicly refused the Defense Ministry's attempt to bring his fighting force under its control by saying that his Wagner fighters will not sign any contract with Defense Minister Sergei Shigu. Wagner Group founder Yevgeny Prigozhin has been critical of President Vladimir Putin's top military brass, accusing them of betrayal for their ineffectiveness in the Ukraine conflict. Prigozhin's forces captured the Ukrainian city of Bakhmut in May after a battle in which tens of thousands of people lost their lives, but neither Mr. Shigu nor Chief of the General Staff Valery Gerasimov have publicly responded to the insults he has leveled against them. The Russian military's efficiency, according to the Defense Ministry, will improve after Mr. Shigu mandated that all volunteer detachments sign contracts with his ministry by the end of the month. The Russian media claimed that Mr. Shigu was attempting to rein in the mercenaries by mentioning the name Wagner, even though the ministry did not mention him in its public statement. Mr. Prigozhin responded to a question about the situation by saying, Wagner will not sign any contracts with Shigu. He argued that the order was not meant for Wagner. When Reuters reached out to the defense ministry for comment, they did not hear back. Mr. Prigozhin and his Wagner mercenaries became notorious for interfering in the 2016 U.S. presidential election and for destabilizing countries across Africa, according to the United States. Since the United States has contributed to the instability of so many nations, his argument goes, it has no right to lecture the rest of the world. Mr. Prigozhin stated that while Wagner is subservient to Russian interests, its highly efficient command structure would be harmed if it reported to Mr. Shigu. According to Mr. Prigozhin, Shigu cannot properly manage military formations, and Wagner coordinated its actions in Ukraine with General Sergei Surovikin, dubbed General Armageddon, by the Russian media. So that volunteer detachments can be more effective, the Ministry of Defense has mandated that all such units, or their men, sign a contract with the Ministry of Defense by July 1st Street. Although Wagner was not specifically mentioned, the phrase, volunteer assault detachments, is used frequently throughout. This, according to the ministry, will provide the necessary legal status for the volunteer formations, create unified approaches to the organization of comprehensive provision and fulfillment of their tasks. These measures will increase the combat capabilities and effectiveness of the armed forces and their volunteer detachments, Deputy Defense Minister Nikolai Pankov said. Mr. Prigozhin warned that if Wagner didn't follow the order, the ministry could cut off his funding. After this order, they might decide not to supply us with firearms and ammunition. Mr. Prigozhin assured us that, we will figure it out, as the saying goes. But when the lightning strikes, they will rush to your aid, armed with weapons and a request for assistance. 